you know, and this is still quirky, but it's got a little more of an elegance to it, I think. And uh, this, the, I'm using a Sustaniac here, but uh, it comes with another gold. Steve Vai is an American guitarist, composer, singer, songwriter, and producer. Vai started his music career in 1978 at the age of 18 as a transcriptionist for Frank Zappa and played in Zappa's band from 1980 to 1983. Additionally, Vi has toured with live-only acts G3, Zappa Plays Zappa, and the Experience Hendrix Tour, as well as headlining international tours. He was voted the 10th greatest guitarist by Guitar World magazine and has sold over 15 million records. Steve has also been nominated 15 times for the Grammy Awards and has won three of them. Position these days, you have to be very creative and look at all of your economic um, opportunities. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Steven Ciro Vi, but is also known as Vi. He was born June 6, 1960 in Carl Place, New York, USA, making him 61 at the time of this production. He stands 185 centimeters or 6 feet 1 inches tall. Vi designed the Ibanez Gem Guitar, a unique instrument that incorporated a series of groundbreaking designs that have since become staples throughout the guitar industry in 1985. Vi is also a vegetarian and a beekeeper, regularly tending to the beehives kept on his Encino property. He also sells his honey for his Make a Noise Foundation. In 2008, Vi donated a signed guitar to a charity auction run by Electro Voice in aid of the Minnesota Helps Bridge Disaster Fund. Steve Vi does not have a long list of girlfriends. In fact, he's only known to have had one relationship to date, his wife, Pia Maiko. Pia and Steve met each other while they were attending Berkeley College of Music and fell in love. The couple dated for years before they were married in 1988. On March 1, 1989, Steve's son was born and named Julian Angel. Steve also has another son with Pia, who's named Fire, whose date of birth is not known. Steve has been in the loving relationship for 33 years and keeps posting on Instagram about their journey. Take it to war, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you get on the battlefield, yeah. meaning the stage, there's so many other aspects of what's going on that you need to contend with. Steven Ciro Vi was born June 6, 1960 in Carl Place, New York to John and Teresa Vi. As a young child, Vi was influenced by the music his parents had listened to. One album in particular that he cites as his musical awakening was the original motion picture soundtrack to the 1961 film West Side Story. At age 7, Vi was introduced to the contemporary rock and progressive music of the era. After hearing the guitar solo to Led Zeppelin's Heartbreaker at age 12, he decided to begin playing the guitar. In 1963, Vi began to take guitar lessons from fellow New York native Joe Satriani and played in local bands throughout his high school years. In 1978, to further pursue his interest in music composition and theory, Vi attended Berklee College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. When he was in music school, Vi transcribed several of Frank Zappa's most technically demanding compositions for guitar and even sent a copy of one such transcription, Black Page, to Zappa himself. Zappa was so impressed with the young guitarist that upon meeting him, he invited Vi to join his band. Subsequently, Vi toured the world with Zappa and played on such albums as 1981's Tinseltown Rebellion and You Are What You Is, 1982's Ship Arriving Too Late, 1983's Man from Utopia and Thingfish before leaving to set out on his own. First off was a pair of self-financed recorded and released solo albums in 1984, Flex Able and Flex Able Leftovers, both of which showcase Vi's guitar playing and songwriting talents yet were still heavily influenced by Zappa. With Van Halen all the rage by the mid-1980s due to their massive hard rock pop crossover successes, Vi replaced Yingwei Malmsteen in a similarly styled outfit called Alcatraz, playing on their overlooked 1985 release Disturbing the Peace. The same year, Vi made a cameo appearance in the movie Crossroads and got an invitation from his friend slash bass master Billy Sheehan to try out for the regular guitar spot in singer David Lee Roth's solo band and eventually landed the gig. 
The debut release from Roth and his stellar solo band, Eat 'Em and Smile, arrived in 1986 and went on to become one of the year's top hard rock releases. In 1988, Vi issued his own line of snazzy guitars, the Gem 777 series, via the Ibanez Company. After the ensuing tour with Roth wrapped up in late 1988, it was Vi's turn to jump ship. In addition to working on another solo album, he was invited to join up with a chart-topping pop metal band, Whitesnake, an offer he accepted. His one and only album with Whitesnake, Slip of the Tongue, was issued in 1989, as was his third solo album overall, Passion and Warfare. Vi returned to all instrumental work with the 1995 EP Alien Love Secrets. For the remainder of the decade, Vi continued to issue solo releases, including 1996 Fire Garden, 1998's Flexible Leftovers, and 1999's The Ultra Zone. The seventh song, Enchanting Guitar Melodies Archive in 2000, and his first full-length live release, Alive in an Ultra World in 2001, as well as his mammoth career-encompassing 10-disc box set, The Secret Jewel Box. In 2002, he collected several pieces that he had contributed to films throughout the years. A series of compilations came next, and after a five-year hiatus from the studio, Vi returned in 2005 with Real Illusions, Reflections. In 2010, he performed with the North Netherlands Orchestra, debuting several new compositions that fused rock music with orchestral arrangements, dubbed the Evo Era. Vi also made several television appearances in 2010, performing on The Tonight Show and on American Idol. In 2012, his eighth studio album, The Story of Light, arrived, continuing the New Age themes first put forth on Real Illusions, Reflections, and including the unexpected twists such as a rootsy blues cover backed by a full gospel choir, as well as a dust with Amy Mann. Vi has announced an upcoming 2016 release commemorating the 25th anniversary of Passion and Warfare. In 2016, Vi played an uncredited guitar solo on the track Go from the album Junk by French electronic band M83. Vi is a featured artist on the track Do You Feel Love from Jacob Collier's 2019 album Jesse, Volume 2. You know, as the technology has evolved, it makes learning so much more accessible to people. Yes. But you gotta have the right stuff. Steve I's main source of income has been his album sales. Over the course of the years, he sold over 15 million records. He earned over a million dollars from his album Passion and Warfare in 1990. He earned $108,000 from sales of his album Sex and Religion in 1993. He's also estimated to have earned $300,000 from his video album sales in 2004. He also sold his Hollywood home and studio in 2015 for $1.5 million. Steve I's net worth is $14 million. Steve I bought a 1,400-square-foot studio and a 3,981-square-foot home in the Hollywood Hills for $330,000 in 1987. He used to live in this three-bedroom luxury home, but sold the property in 2015 for $1.5 million. Steve I now lives in his Los Angeles home, whose price is not known. The cars and bikes you'll find in Vi's garage are Cadillac Escalade, Nissan Z, nineteen ninety eight Fiat Punto. Ford F-150 Crew Cab, Mazda 
Mercedes. Audi A5.